Last time I saw Jatira was on Father's Day. So did, did you, did you, you mentioned that you had been coming out here and you've been trying to, your, sis, your sister had been coming out to try to pick up. Yeah, I've been having my sister come out uh, to pick up Jatira, to spend weekends with me. Um, every time she comes, like for the past six, seven months, mm -hmm. knock on the door, the guy answered the door, said no, she's not home, or no one will answer the door, but you hear kids in the background and things like that just, just didn't seem right. I read the description of the kids that they had, and when I saw that, when I read that, um, that she had braids and beads in her hair, it just hit me in my gut that that was my daughter. As soon as daylight came, I, I jumped in the car and came down here to the police station to give them whatever information they may need uh, and a DNA sample. And they said, did they say anything to you or no? No, they told me that they couldn't identify anyone. Um, they really couldn't talk about it much because um, it was an ongoing investigation. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm just in the dark like everyone else. I never thought this would happen to me. When I say I, I hear about it, read about it, but I never thought it, it would happen. And, and now that it has happened, it, it, I don't even know how to deal with it. It's, it's very hard to deal with. Um, I'm still trying to put in perspective of what really happened and, and, and understanding that this is for real and because in a way from time to time it, it, it just seems like a dream.